Hello everyone, my name is Diane and this is Out and About with Diane, where I like to create videos about outdoor adventure and travel. Recently I spent five days on the Colorado River camping and I thought it would be interesting to take you along in a get ready with me camping edition video where I take care of my day to day tasks and preparing food and meals, packing up the car and whatnot. So I hope that you enjoy the video. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing because I have some awesome videos from this camping trip coming up and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are notified about new videos. I release new videos every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. and we also do a live stream podcast at 1 p.m. on Sundays. So make sure that you join us for all of that and let's get started with the video. Also, I'd like to know what your camp routine is for getting ready for camping. I'd like to hear what your input is, so please leave that in the comments. All right, let's get started. go over my checklist and see if I need to add anything and then download the checklist to my phone make sure that I can just go over everything when I am out and about all right I'm gonna make my stops since this is a bigger camping trip for me I'm gonna go to the car wash and vacuum everything out then I gotta go to Walmart and get a few items I gotta go to Albertsons I've got to check my post office box and then fill up with gas come back, get my water jugs, and then fill those up too. I survived Walmart. I only got two items, some paracord for kayaking in case one of us needs to tow the other, and some air fresheners for the car. I just gotta head to the post office, the car wash, and then Albertsons. All right, skipping the car wash. It is completely packed there, and I will just wash the car myself at home, and my vacuum is better anyways, so. All right, on to the grocery store. All right, so for the sake of not boring you, I vacuumed my car. It's looking pretty clean. There's still a little bit of dirt, but it's fine. I'm just gonna load it with camping stuff. But sometimes it's nice to start with a fresh, clean start. I took the bed platform out, which is really easy. It's secured by two bolts up there. And I just loosened the bolts, took the bed out, and then I made room now for my bike. My bike's gonna go inside and I've got a rack now for the kayak. I'm gonna put the kayak on the roof. Should be a fun-filled 
adventure packed adventure. Check out this month's not so terrible deals. Head inside for the Alrighty, car's clean. Time to check the fluids, and then I've got to repack some of my totes that belong in the car all the time with my first aid kit and my gas can and all that stuff. So I've got to repack some of that and then load up the car with that. And I'm going to load up the car with everything tomorrow when I get home from an appointment that I have. I just don't want everything in my car. I don't want to load the kayak just yet because my appointment is sort of in the ghetto. So... I don't want to give anybody an opportunity to take anything, so all that's going to happen tomorrow. But now, so tonight i got to check the fluids, repack the stuff that always goes in my car, and then I've got to pack my coolers or at least get the food stuff ready so that tomorrow I can just put it in the cooler. Looks like my coolant is to the line, so that's good. Okay, gonna check the oil. All right, I have enough oil, but it is dirty, so I do need an oil change. I will do that when I get back. Luckily, Laughlin isn't too far. So, I'm not really due for an oil change yet, but it will be useful when I get back, that's for sure. All right, so it's the night before camping. I'm going to cut up some fruit. I'm gonna get the food ready. I wanted to do like pulled pork sandwiches and even maybe pork tacos. So what I'm gonna do is actually cook the pork down in the Instant Pot and shred it. And then I'm gonna put it in some uh, food saver bags and then just have them ready so that when I get to camp, I can just heat up everything and either mix it with salsa or mix it with barbecue sauce, whatever we want to do. And then I have some other things I want to prep. So it's going to be a bunch of time lapses from here. And yeah, let's get started. Hey everyone, good morning. I spent the majority of the night preparing food for today for the camping trip and I had some errands to run this morning, kind of personal stuff. And now I'm going to pack up the vehicle. I've got to get ice and water and a few more things at the grocery store. But today is the day. All right, excuse the uh, noise from a pressure washer, but I am all packed up. I forgot to film the process. I've just been trying to get out of here. So, I will just give you a peek inside the car. This is probably my best setup yet. I don't have the bed frame in here that I usually have. And things are fitting pretty nicely. Okay, so I've got coolers, water that's uh, drinkable, and I can use it for whatever. I just go to the water station and fill that up. Propane. Propane and propane accessories. <laughs> I've got some more dry food, some dry food in that bin. I've got bathroom or kitchen and bathroom or kitchen. I've got my paddles, light vests, 
Even my bike is fitting nicely. Bike fits good. I've got some bedding, my air mattress, my car stuff. Okay, I've got my clothes. Bruce is gonna sit right here. Everything is going smoothly. Looks pretty good. And the kayak racks, they're kind of leaning, but I think I'll be able to fix them. And the kayak. Pretty excited. All right, you guys, we're all packed up and we are heading to Big Bend of the Colorado River in Nevada on the border of Nevada and Arizona. Should be a great trip. My friend Maddie is joining us and the Jocelyn will be here on Saturday. All right, let's hit the road. The lady was standing right there talking me talking to me through the window demanding the money